Greetings, listeners. This is the first episode of Band Sharia Radio. I am the uh, the owner of the group, Juxua Luxor. Um, I wanted to give a shout out to everybody in the group that's been helping me with this anti-Sharia advocacy movement. Um, Bella7758, Malik the Atheist J-Man, Chris R, um, Fidem Tubari, uh, let's see, there's so many of you, um, Dog Brindle, um, Frank Taroni, uh, let's see, I know there's more of you than that, I'm just like, I, nobody get offended if I can't remember your name, because you're all doing a great job, you're doing an exceptional job, Daniel Stilson, with his, um, going out and debating, uh, Defenders and apologists for Islam. He's doing a great job. Um, sometimes he tags me in the debates, and we tag team some of these people. Um, you know, it's like the forces that be in the world, the uh, the Muslim Brotherhood, this secret society, this fraternity that's infiltrating the other secret societies who are sworn to secrecy because they had to take vows of silence in order to be part of these secret societies. They thought that they were the, that they were the smartest. They thought that they were so smart, they thought that nobody was smarter than they were, that nobody was fast enough or courageous enough to speak out they thought that they had us cowering in fear and we have proved them wrong and we're proving them wrong and we are changing the world for the better um, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a uh, special guest uh, Ronald Reagan will be joining us a little bit later this evening recently John Stewart uh, made some comments and uh, Ronald Reagan will be responding to those comments. You might ask yourselves, how is this possible? Well, many of you don't know that I am a, uh, I'm a wizard. I'm a high-powered wizard. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true. Yes, magic is real and it does exist. So without further ado, I will now go into a trance and summon Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, please appear before us so that we might talk to you and ask you some questions. Hello, uh, Ronald Reagan, is, is that you? Are you with us? Oh, uh, hi. Nancy, is that you? Uh, no, sir. I... No, this is uh, I, this is Jock Sua Luxor, longtime fan, first time talker too. Um, we had some questions for you to 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 kind of pick your brain about things that are happening right now. Oh well, uh, I'll do the best that I can. You know, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, I had Alzheimer's right before I departed from the earth, and uh, a lot of people don't know this, but once you enter the spirit world after death. Uh, Everybody remembers everything perfectly. There is no uh, Alzheimer's in the ghost world. Wow. That's really interesting to know. Thank you, former Mr. President of the United States. Um, what do you think about uh, President Barack Hussein Obama right now? Well, it's interesting that you should ask me that question because I've been turning over in my grave quite a bit frequently. It's, it's, it's kind of nice to have the opportunity to... Uh, speak out because I haven't spoken for a long time thank you for having me on this show well you're welcome mr. president and in spite of all the criticism that you get um, I think that you were a, a damn good president well thank you that's that's high praise coming from you Jock Swallowxor in the spirit realm you are very well known and and thought very positively of I just thought you should know that on the uh, on the Daily Show, John Stewart recently referenced you, and um, disrespectfully compared you to uh, Muhammad by saying, "Peace be upon him," you know, tacitly conflating you with the Prophet Muhammad and Christians with Muslims. Um, 
Furthermore, he talked about a deal that you made with the Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran. Um, now, I've done some research, and you might have made a deal. I'm sure you did. I'm not saying that you didn't. I'm positive that you did. But it wasn't like the type of deal that, that is being made by President Barack Hussein Obama with Iran currently. Could you, uh, could you respond to our relationship with Iran? I would love to. Allow myself to quote myself. One time, famously, I said, and I quote, effective anti-terrorist action has also been thwarted by the claim that, as the quip goes, one man's terrorist is another man's freedom fighter. That's a catchy phrase, but also misleading. Freedom fighters do not need to terrorize a population into submission. Freedom fighters target the military forces and the organized instruments of repression, keeping dictatorial regimes in power. Freedom fighters struggle to liberate their citizens from oppression and to establish a form of government fighting for freedom. Oh, pardon me. A form of government that reflects the will of the people. Now, this is not to say that those who are fighting for freedom are perfect or that we should ignore problems arising from passion and conflict. Nevertheless, one has to be blind, ignorant, or simply unwilling to see the truth if he or she is unable to distinguish between those I just described and terrorists. Terrorists intentionally kill or maim unarmed civilians, often women and children, often third parties who are not in any way part of a dictatorial regime. Terrorists are always the enemies of democracy. Luckily, the world is shaking free from its lethargy and moving forward to stop the bloodshed. Wow. Profound words of wisdom from one of the greatest presidents that the United States has ever had. It has been my privilege, my immense privilege, to have you on the show, to, hum to grace our humble movement and advocacy group with your pre presence and your wise words. Um, I am so grateful and thankful to you. Well, you're welcome, Jocks Luxor, and I want you and your ragtag little band of sh rag uh, anti-Sharia advocates to keep up the good work. You're doing a great job. Well, I, thank you, sir. And I would like to shake your hand before I leave. Well, my privilege, sir. I would, I would love to shake your hand as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I must be off now. Uh, back to the spirit world for me. I will see you in my next incarnation. Okay. Goodbye, Mr. President. It was nice to meet you. Wow. Okay. Wow. Thanks, Anti-Sharia Advocates, for tuning in for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed talking to Ronald Reagan, former President of the United States of America. Okay. Um, well, please be sure to tune in for our next program, and uh, keep up the good work, brothers and sisters. Defenders of the faith. And also a huge shout out to my atheist advocates who are doing a great job. Um, not, to, not to lump you in with all the, the us religious people, but uh, you are friends, allies, brothers and sisters as well as we fight for the authority of reason in the world and especially the Western civilized world. Thank you and amen.